I think building the schools is a huge issue. I think well, a, a survey last year suggested that half of all secondary school pupils were bullied and a quarter of all primary school children were bullied. And I think it's a big issue. I think it's one that we're not quite sure as a society how to tackle. And schools have a huge part to play in that because you know, young people spend 11,000 hours of their, their life at, at school. So it's the prime time to actually be tackling it. I don't think there's, there's much difference really. I think uh, both can be just as bad and I don't think there's any statistics that actually suggest you know, more boys are bullied and more girls are bullied. Obviously there's different aspects involved in both types of those bullying but I don't think there's, there's any facts or figures on the amount to each. I think some types of bullying are definitely more difficult for the teachers to spot than others and I think one of them that the young people mentioned was homophobic bullying and that's using the word gay as a negative adjective, adjective. you know, homework's gay, you know, this lesson's gay and you, you try and say it's rubbish. I think a lot of teachers aren't quite sure how to deal with that and don't challenge it and you'll be surprised how many young people say that sometimes it does go unnoticed in lessons and I think a lot of teachers still aren't quite sure what to do about bullying and, and all the aspects of bullying, especially cyberbullying. I think teachers need a lot more training in how to spot the signs of bullying and, you know, let's be fair to teachers, you know, they need that support and some of them are actually bullied in their own classrooms, so you know, I think we need a lot more support and a bigger focus on bullying for schools. It's all very well having an anti-bullying policy, but if it's not effective, if it's not active and it's not, you know, affecting the school day, every day and embedded throughout the year, then it's not going to work and it's as simple as that. I think bullying is definitely linked to poor academic performance in schools in the sense that if you're not happy uh, then it's not going to be a safe and secure learning environment and you're not going to achieve your potential, it's as simple as that and you're know, just a positive friendly atmosphere where it's okay to be yourself, okay to express yourself and you know, be brave and put your hand up and get something wrong, that's going to make a huge difference to results and academic success.